I am a ghost and I'm haunting this person and literally flying inside of Brookhaven. This is real. You could actually fly and become a ghost. I have found a way in Brookhaven in how to become a ghost and actually fly. So today, I'm going to teach you a tutorial on how to become a ghost, fly, and scare a bunch of people in the brand new Brookhaven update. If you didn't know already, a brand new Brookhaven update just came out, including some brand new vehicles such as the school bus. Some fun things about this is you can sit on the back or you can sit on the front. This is a pretty cool new vehicle but not really something I'm too interested in because today I want to be showing you guys how you can become a ghost. To do this, first we'll go and select your avatar editor. Once you are on the floor, I guess it doesn't work. Then make sure that your size is 1% because we want to make sure we are like the full size. I'm now going to go and take off some pretty cool items, you know, the cookie items which I designed myself, so goodbye to all of them. We will then continue to go and select a face and click on it again, and it will make your Roblox avatar have absolutely no face or facial expression, which is going to help persuade people to think I'm a ghost. Next, we're going to choose the color gray. I think this one kind of works well, or you can do this white, whatever one you like more. Next, select a t-shirt and then unselect it and by doing so, it goes and reverts your character to wearing nothing. And then go and repeat the same process for your trousers by clicking on one and then clicking off and now we have absolutely nothing on. So just like that, we are now just like a kind of empty avatar. But what I'm about to show you next is going to make you levitate and then what I'm going to show you after that is literally going to make you fly inside of Brookhaven. If you didn't know already, you can type out things in the chat that will make your avatar do some crazy things. Such as typing out the word AFK will make you go and start levitating just like so. So this doesn't actually allow you to completely fly, it just allows you to look like you're levitating. But I will be showing you how to make it look like you are completely a ghost and actually fly. But before we do that, I'm going to continue and add a few accessories to make sure that my avatar looks as scary as possible. I think we need this summoning ring, it kind of looks like it will work well. So we've now got these two summoning rings and I'm pretty sure it looks a bit spooky already. I'm now going to go and select the RP name and rename myself as something relative. So we're just going to say ghost and maybe put it in um, a white. Yeah, that, that works pretty well. It just says I'm a ghost and um, this is currently what the avatar looks like. There's actually some other commands you can type out BRB and that will also go and do the same thing as this, but there is one secret. If you go and type out this word Aiden Lee Wolf, it will go and make you start like flying like this and look pretty scary. This does look kind of strange. This is a very strange command. I'm intrigued how people are going to react to me go and pretending to be a ghost in front of them. To go and fly, I'll be showing you guys very shortly. But as you can see, I'm actually now flying and I'll be showing you how you can do that very soon. And this is going to be the pretty scary bit is that there is a flying ghost inside of Brookhaven. And when this is at nighttime, we're definitely going to scare a lot of people by doing this. I need to try and find some people and I think we're going to definitely scare them by being a ghost literally flying. And uh, yeah, this is very strange. The good thing about this is that you can infinitely fly anywhere and it's still your Roblox avatar and you can kind of dress up what you like. So if you want to like sneak through a window or get to a place that you can't normally do, you can actually go and do so as this ghost. So this dude right here who's just chucking all of his money, we're gonna scare him. Okay, I think I'm in a server where they don't actually speak any English. So um, I'm not too sure how well they're gonna react to this, the fact that there is a flying ghost in front of them. I think it'd be pretty cool if I was to replicate their avatar and just start flying around. Yeah, this is definitely creepy and gonna scare some people, so let's see what they say. Okay, so some new people have just spawned in. I think they're dressing their avatar up. We're gonna scare them. I'm literally gonna fly behind them and see what their reaction is, that I'm just floating above their head right now. They must be so confused. Imagine you're just playing Brookhaven and you literally see someone just flighting around. <gasps> actually, this is a good try. They've just got this new vehicle out. I'm gonna sit in the back. This actually is a hearse, which means there is a coffin in the back. So, I mean, um, this is kind of relevant that there is a ghost. Where are they gonna take me? I don't know. Maybe they'll take me to the cemetery. It's over there. Alright, yeah, I got no clue where this person's taking me, but we're about to find out. 
Yeah, I mean, I'd be pretty scared if I just started playing Brookhaven and I see the word ghost sat next to me and the avatar looks literally like a ghost. I think we might might have scared this person. Like, they must be so confused what's happening right now. I don't know what that says. What does that say? They were shouting it though. It's in full capital letters. Whatever the word that means, Um, who knows. I've changed server and given myself a scary face and now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually go and fly. What you need to do is make sure you're a size 0.6 and walk up to the fountain in the main part of the map until you start to hit the floor. Press into the emotions and then press the button that says crawl and press crawl again and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't and then you should be able to go and fly. So let's go and demonstrate. You need to be like pushing down on it and then press crawl and then you press it again and you can fly. So you walk up to it, press crawl and then press fl uh, and then press it again and you can start flying around and we're going to try and scare some people now. All right, so it seems like there's like some fake crime scene going on right here. So let's um, just go and scare them. Okay, so this person is uh, pretending that they have just been hit by a car. Um, so we're just gonna like float up to heaven. Yeah, these people must be so confused that I'm literally flying because no one really knows how to fly inside of Brookhaven. Okay, we're definitely gonna scare this person right now. They said they're looking for a dad to my kids. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so uh, imagine you just see this on the back of your car. It literally looks like I'm about to summon something right now. Um, so I'm not too sure how I feel about this. It definitely looks a bit bit uh, too crazy to me. I'm just gonna tell them I'm your ghost and see what their reaction is. Uh, they must be very confused or they'll play along with it because I mean at the end of the day This is a role play. Um, they just said confused face. Oh, oh They are scared slow down. They're running. I all I did was say I am you. Uh, that's totally not scary Is it they said how? That is not how you spell how. Um, I am your ghost. They said I am me? No, I am. Yeah, this person must be scared. I mean, even me looking at this face looks pretty scary, so you know. If you were my ghost, I wouldn't be here. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's kind of true. That is, that is true. Alright, I renamed myself to Lola's ghost and their name is Lola. Um, so you know. <laughs> They're just doing some shopping actually. Yeah, let me give them a hand. Yo, let me let me get you an apple. Yeah, you want the apple. You know what they say, the apple a day keeps Lola away. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is how you become a ghost inside of Brookhaven. Let me know if you're going to be going and trying this out for yourself. And if you're going to go and attempt to fly. So again, to go and fly, you need to make sure you walk up to this section. Wait till you start glitching on the floor. And once you've gone and done that, it will allow you to go and fly anywhere. And once you press that spacebar again, it will actually go and deactivate your fly. So it's not permanent that you can go and fly. If I were to press the space bar right now, it will stop me from flying. You could definitely scare a bunch of your friends out that you can fly inside of Brookhaven and pretend that they're being haunted by some evil ghosts. That's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, leave it a thumbs up and let me know what you'd like to go and see next down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. Use star code CANDY when purchasing Robux and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.